is a Bramble Jam podcast. Hi, I'm Brandon, and I love Sign Seal Delivered. Hey, it's Panda, and I like Sign Seal Delivered. I'm Dan, and I despise Sign Seal Delivered, and this is the Deck, Deck the, the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, oh, well, that week, that week just, just flew oh, by. That holiday, that four yeah. day week will get you, Brand. Yeah, not four day week for us. We've been all no. five days. We, yep. Oh, we have. You're right. That's we true. never take a day off, really. No, take the day, take day, off. day off. We used to. Rip not anymore. Rip no. in time. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. um, but we're here, guys. Can I ask you this? Yeah. A dozen potatoes. Yep. Go for a walk. Okay. <laughs> Boiled. Go ahead. Baked. Why? Um, <laughs> I didn't get it. Why? Okay, great. Was it X again? X X. There it is. Does it? You, but that was Tracy. I was waiting for Tracy. To I was trying work. to do what? Y, I was trying to do Y, like the X oh. Y. Oh. All right. So twelve potatoes go for a walk. <laughs> why? Yep. Son of a gun! Dang it, Dan! Losing the listeners are just dropping off. Left no, they're right. not. No, they're not. No, they're not. Uh, we'll do a quick roll call. Uh, Peter, yeah. Tom, yeah. Ashley, Hi. Arnold. Oh, girl. Okay. All right. That's Get it. <laughs> oh, here. Carl. Yeah, I'm here. Carl, what's up, bud? Oh, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You still on? Oh, I'm on. All right. Thanks, Carl. See you, buddy. Rig, you there? Oh, I'm here. Big Haven't guy. heard from you all week, buddy. No, it's like we just flew by. Flew by. How hey, are it's you? It's a big week. And Fitzy's down there. It's uh, it's furry week. Furry week. Yeah, you heard me. So you're dressing up as? No, we bring a, everybody brings a furry in, and I get mean, free you, drinks. What do you mean you bring in? You a bring furry. a furry, you get a free drink. So you bring a friend who I'm dresses sorry. up as a furby. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 that helps. Furry week is in October. <laughs> is it the same rules? <laughs> a little, little different. Okay, we we'll talk ahead. about it then. Uh, yeah, you bring your Furby in. How many people have a Furby? <laughs> That's why you get a Furby. You want a free drink at Fitzy's. Yeah. Those go a long way, big guy. What type of... Do you get to pick the drink? You or? pick a drink. Any drink. Any drink. Can I ask you this? Yeah, please the, do. The tank kila yeah, from ten, last week. 10 pound right. toy tank. Did those sell like hot tank? Cakes, hot, hot tanks. tanks. Uh, you were close to being good. <laughs> were those selling like hot cakes this past week after we've the long somebody, promotion? Uh, we never had somebody drink one and live. Uh, so <laughs> they have it. People share them. There's a share, and so we actually split the straw out of the out of the gun. You know what I mean? How do you do that? It's a three straw split. No, we do. We have a guy. What do you mean? No, listen, listen, Davy in the back. He's a surgeon. He puts some slits in those in those straws and he splices them. Yep. He slits and he slices. Slits and spices. Splice. Splices. You got it. And you can share it three ways. Three way tequila. It's a three way share. It's a three way share. I thought it was one straw, two out. Three way share. He split. He, he could slit that split. <laughs> so now three. You could drink a third of a tequila and live for sure. I've seen it. So what is that? <laughs> two and a half. It's a two and a half know, pounds. A, yeah, it's a three. Yeah. Three. Oh well, three. It's not about the weight. <laughs> I think you misunderstand it. Yeah. The weight of the tank is before we put the liquid in it. How much is it post? Oh, probably like twelve or thirteen pounds. So, so it's, it's only three, three pounds. Yeah, yeah, you, three everyone. Pound so it's a pound a, a person. A pound a person. A pound of alcohol per person. No, no, no. Because there's nog and there's dragon fruits in there. It's That's not right. all tequila. No. No. Sorry about that mix-up, guys. Furby week. It's a big week for us. Furby. I made week. people get free drinks during Furby. Dozens, week. dozens bring the Furbies in. Furbies are apparently still a thing. Do yeah. they communicate with each other? Isn't that kind of eerie? Yeah, for we customers? put them on the bar, you uh-huh. know, and they just kind of talk. And sometimes we do like little ventriloquist things with them. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, it's fun. What week. do they say? It's a fun week. It's much better than Furry Week. Can I ask you? And this is not for me. Is for, uh, when is Furry Week? Furry Week. <laughs> It's in October, mid October. What dates? Uh, I believe I believe we're looking at tenth to seventeenth this year. Full week. Full week. Eight days. <laughs> eight, eight, eight days, days a week fur- for furry week. Do you have to go to all eight or? Uh, yeah, you know, usually. <laughs> uh, we're talking about signs of delivered home again. I'm coming home. 
Again. Do the place her ass on my face. You remember when it was tough to make to determine if it was coming home, coming home, yeah, or or daughter. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming home. All right, you ready? Which one is it, Daughtry or the other? <laughs> I'm coming home. Daughtry. Daughtry. Coming home. Daughtry. <laughs> Oh, the other one. I thought so. Yeah, the other one. The key is it's. I'm. Key is I'm. <laughs> the key is it's. <laughs> key is I'm. Um, all right, Science to Delivered. Let's do this thing. Home Again, originally aired on September 24th, 2017. 2017! How you doing, bud? Bitty, bitty, bo bitty. I'm here and I'm loving every minute of it. Last week, you sounded a little, uh, like a little lost. I was a little lost and a little down, but you know what? I'm back on top, baby. You going to furry week? I got a pop-up tent. You got a pop-up tent. Yeah, you see, I can get two or three hours of shut eye before the coppers kick <laughs> me out. Buddy, this is sad. Why, it's off my own volition. I could go home if I wanted to, but me and the wife are in a beef. What's the beef about? Beefaroni. The beef. We're that, in a beefaroni. The beef that you and your wife have are about is about. I love it. She doesn't it's like it. It's cheap. It's filling. It's nutrous. Nutrous is not a word. She doesn't like it. She hates it. She Nutrist? Said you could take your beef and live in a tent on the side of the road, and I said, "Okay, 2017. I'll always Wait, have it." You, yeah, you do own 2017 still. You huh? betcha. Wow, it's in perpetuity. Wow. Mm. I want a little something like this. It's not gonna make it. What? Go ahead. Um, we start in Edgewood, mm. Colorado, mm -hmm. uh, in 1999. You don't go there after 11 p.m. Oh, I Listen. did one time. Ooh. And you uh, lived to tell the tale. I did. Uh, they had to surgically uh, put it back on my pinky wow. after that. Uh, wow. Wild. What happened? I don't want to talk about Sue Dark. Yeah, that's fair. This is an uplifting program. Uh, there's three girls. They drop off a package at a post office trying to mail this package to Denver. The girls, they live on a farm. <laughs> I don't know, um, and uh, the postal worker's nice. Let's them pay a little less. Does the little uh, upsy daisies on to make the scale go downsy daisies. You know what I mean? Um, and um, they're going to mail that sucker. He asks what's in it. The little girl says hope. Walks away. Uh, back in modern day, whatever year, 2017. 2017! Thank you. Um, Oliver gets a Just bit... in for a quick s'more, Brian. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good, bud. Beefaroni. Never forget. Never forget. 2017 Beefaroni! Uh, <laughs> uh, Oliver's got a bit of a spring in his step and shows up at Shane's house, coffee in hand. We find out that they move the DLO and they accidentally make a hole through a wall and find a, a whole new world. A new world. Packages are hanging now. There is a leak in the roof. Everything's sucky. <laughs> um, there, yeah. So that's the the kind of what's going on there. It's been there all along. Uh, so there's the vase. It's been there all along. So basically, there's a fella. I uh, will show you my vase. Uh, inside the room is the lost mailbag of Harry Schnapp. And um, from 1999. Can you believe it? Mm -hmm. rumor, ha rumor has it. Um, he would spend lunch in a secret room scratching off lottery tickets, and one day, he just... That sounds like a real mm. postal worker of the week. We yeah, yeah, it, it really, really does. does. <laughs> uh, he never shows up, and um, these packages have been missing ever since. Peter, did you just send us something on Facebook what? Messenger? Yeah, I, sure I sure did. Why You're are you messaging us in the chat while he's reading the <laughs> yeah, synopsis? Yeah, no, this is that good. Dan, can you look at that? Let me know. I saw it earlier. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> it could have waited. It could have waited. But then I might forget. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. Um, 1999, rumor has it. Rumor has it. Uh, rumor so they, has they find it. a box from the beginning. They pick it up. An antique vase falls out. Norman catches it. Norman Dorman hands uh, for days. Uh, inside is a letter inside the vase uh, from the girls. They sent it to somebody in Denver. They're trying to sell it. Try, trying to get it to some antique person would be their guest. They share the story of the vase. Um, that their family has always had. There's like Justin 
vase case and uh, the farm has gone through tough times never sold the vase uh, dad passed away mom's been so sad hasn't gotten out of bed farms farm farm's not doing it you got to sell this sucker basically or else we're going to lose the farm and so they're trying to the girls are trying to keep this farm afloat and um you know this whole thing is going on so social services are trying to get involved um so they need to sell the base is what we're trying to get to to save the farm uh for the farm and um hopefully that will help their mom feel better and um and so they're going to try to figure out who they're trying to send it to and that way they can figure out who sent it mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. It's time for Norman to meet Rita's parents, and her dad is not impressed. Uh, it seems like he uh, has a gift to give, doesn't give it. After meeting Norman, who can blame him? Uh, Shane and Oliver stop by antique store after antique store trying to figure out wh- who this was trying to go to. And they come to somebody who's like basically like this. There was this person, and they kept calling, to see if a vase arrived, blah, blah, blah. Uh, eventually, they stopped. And his dad said, uh, he remembers his dad saying, the girl from Ed- Edgewood. So they have a place, location. So they head to Edwood, Edgewood and they talk to the USPS employee. And uh, he says that the, the, the yes, they, they go to the farm. We know the farm, the good people at the farm. Uh, farm's only going to be there. They're only going to have that sucker for another weekend. So let's hurry this up. Um, so Shane and Oliver track down the family. And uh, the girls are grown, and the mom has been running the ranch. She's back on her feet, doing well, uh, crushing everything. But then she gets sick, and now, uh, once again, they are at, at risk of losing the farm. Uh, when they tell them about the race, she's vase. She's like, "Wow, this is perfect timing. I could sell this vase. This would be the time to do it." Turns out though that they need approval because of. The way that the DLO works, it is That's very right. serious yes. business. They need approval all three from all three of the girls, from the ones that sent it, in order to give the vase back and sell it. You know, so the two girls that are there, they're down to clown. But the other sister, she's halfway around the co- the world, not the country, halfway around the world, the world. in the military. I think she works for a news organization. Was oh, that it? Yeah. I just, I never, I never know when there's a satellite involved. Yeah. I just assume News, military. Not military. Um, sure. She's a so, journalist. She's a journalist. Yes. She's a globe trotter. Coast to coast show. So they track her down via satellite and they, um, basically they tell her about the vase and all of this stuff. And, um, they also tell her basically about her mom that is not doing well. So, anyways, they're good. They're good to get. Let's do this thing. But then they find out, uh oh, the vase isn't ours at all in the first place. So they tried on the rightful owner of the vase, and uh, those people are really thankful. Uh, no money for you though, um, and so that doesn't really help with the losing of the farm. And so um, the third sister does end up showing up. They're going to be with the mom. It's very nice, sweet, heartwarming. Uh, the the farm goes to auction, and um, wouldn't you know it, Oliver shows up. Buys that son of a gun. Four hundred large. What a what a boy. You know what? You never know what you're gonna do when you inherit a bunch of money. But I'd like to think it'd yeah. be this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the buying farms foundation. and giving it to people. Uh, that's what he does. He buys the farm and he's like, basically, just stay. It's yours. Let's do this thing. What a fella. Uh, Rita and Norman have a, a tough go of it with Rita's dad. Eventually, he comes around. Uh, Norman does a heartfelt speech, proposes to her. We see the ring. Remember last week I said, are we going to see yeah, the ring? He doesn't propose to her. He gets He's there, and he does the thing. He, does, he talks about the ring. Yeah, but yeah. he gets back down on his knee. It, it, does he get back down on his knee? I don't think I he feel did. like he did. No, he just turns he not? the ring mm-hmm. on the finger. Then why did I say propose? I don't know. Maybe I was, Weird. Maybe I was wishing that he did. To do it all over again. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're all good, everybody. All good. Uh, and all and throughout the movie, we get to see Shane and Oliver, you know, talking about the future and whatnot. We get to see him kiss again. And basically, I think we're all better for it. Uh, and that, my friends, was signed, Sign, sealed, sealed, delivered. delivered. Home, home again. again. I'm coming home. Daughter. Let's take a quick break. We are back here on like the take Hallmark. The Hallmark. Who? Like the Hallmark. Carl, you got it. I know Carl is still here. Yeah, Carl actually is the is not. That's not Carl. That's not Carl. That guy did say you got it. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that though? I don't know. Oh wow, it could be anybody. That wasn't Carl though. Yeah, is there any reason Carl. it wasn't? I don't know. He said you got it, but Carl was Carl. That was not Carl's voice. Close enough, I think though. No, 
Uh-uh. You think people are going to call us on it? <laughs> uh, these are the postables. Um, I don't think any of them are concerned about <laughs> Coral. <laughs> uh, let's talk about what they are concerned about, which is signs of delivery. Mm-hmm. Home again. I'm coming home. Uh, Pena, let's start with you. The hot take. What do you think, buddy? Man, I like this one a lot, um, which is interesting because there's not a lot that technically happens to advance any of the relationships for that much. Uh, but I loved it. Like, I, for me personally... I like the letter story. I thought that was a really intriguing story. I was locked in on it. Um, I liked the whole issue of Rita's parents and and Norman trying to win them over. I love that. Um, uh, there's some great scenes between Oliver and Shane. So, you know, this one had almost more of a kind of Hallmark, classic Hallmark vibe yeah. to it, if that makes sense. Um, and... Yeah, I still, though, I, I wrote down on this. I think this still might be, it's not my favorite, uh, but it's it's one of my favorites, uh, and it's not even close. Not even close. Uh, it's not, not even, even close. close. Uh, I really love this one. It was great. Uh, b- big feels. Don't have a lot of weight what's, uh, but that's kind of typical yeah, for yeah, yeah, still yeah. delivered. But yeah. uh, really, really, I found this plot really intriguing. They, they do a lot in it, uh, but nevertheless, uh, land stick the landing well. Yeah, I thought it was fine. I thought it was safe. It was a safe one yep, to me. Safe one. Um, no, nothing. No one's gonna be offended by this movie. No one's gonna be like this was trash. But there, like, there is just when Science Hill delivered is clicking on all cylinders. There's a magic about it, and there was not a magic about this one for me personally. I didn't dislike anything that happened. All of it was quite swell, and I enjoyed the watch. Uh, but it's not going to be one that I remember for the rest of my life. Um, and um, that's the way <laughs> I feel. I see it. <laughs> yeah. um, it's, it, it's becoming harder every week to determine if I'm grading this on a Hallmark scale or on a Sign Seal Delivered scale because... By Hallmark standards, this was wonderful. Yeah, I, I only grade by Science Hill. By Science of Delivered standards, it was middling. I, I, like, I felt like we got to the farm 40 minutes in, and it was like... We were on the farm for a long we time. We were on the farm for a long time. The symbolism and what, they, what Martha tries to do in every episode of this wasn't quite as ringingly, you know great in this one as it was in some of the others we do get the great barry boswick as uh as Mm -hmm. um, rita's dad he's great um and he's awesome anytime we get him that's wonderful um there were some good shane and oliver moments i thought yeah um not at the bottom there's no miss special delivery so that keeps it out of the bottom um i'm i'm tired of ramon i'm very much over ramon i think that bit is very very stale and i'm over him but I like the letter. I like the three dollars. Did I not mention that, uh, that Ramon opened a new restaurant? I didn't mention that. Did oh, he mention not, it? That's on me. It's the mail that he takes over the mail box grill. I thought yeah. he had a no, different. No, he one. he started a whole so, new restaurant. A whole no, new I restaurant. I thought this was no, replaced. No, no, last last week he bought the grill. This week I thought this he converted it, and that was the mail oh box maybe grill he now. would never maybe I don't know. No, because they said you want to go into Ramon's new restaurant. Yeah, and he said, and they said, what's and wrong with the mailbox grill? And they said, well, Ramon's got a new restaurant. That blah blah blah. Um. I'm just tired of him. That bit has grown old to me. But the but it's so infrequent. Sh- it's it's not- every episode. No, but I mean, like, it takes up so little time, it doesn't seem even worth mentioning. Yeah, but so, so I, don't, I think it delivery. takes up more time than you think it does. Ramon's in 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes a movie. It's not like he's in two scenes. Like, he's in a lot of the movie. Okay. Um, Shane and Oliver stuff was good. Barry Boswick was good. The letter with the girls was good. N- not going to... Finish in my all top of it's five. Good. Not going to finish good. my bottom five for including the TV show. So yeah, it was fine. I'd rather spend time with the Postables and with this group of characters than I would with anything else we watch. So yeah, sure. by that measure, yeah, sure, it was, it was time well spent. What about with um, Jerry and Max? Jerry Max? No, Jerry, Jerry and, and Max. Max. Oh, both of them? Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to go Jerry and Max, but we don't have to get into it. Well, they're, they're I mean, unmistakable. Unmistakable. You and unescapable. Together. Oh man. No. Oh. Indescribable. Unobtainable. Uncontainable. Uncontainable. <laughs> no, you know, can't. You can't obtain can't it. Can't grab it. I mean, you can live in it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, let's talk about all the fields. Panda? Uh, a couple different ones. Uh, first of all, when uh, Oliver says, I only dance with you. That's a great mm-hmm. moment. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Stop great that. Moment. That's great. Uh, and then Rita telling her dad why she loves Norman. Uh, and her trying to win him over. I like that scene. Like, that that was a good feel scene mm-hmm. for me. Really like that one. Uh, yeah, th- those were my two big ones. Um, 
Yeah, I think that Shane and Oliver, anytime Shane and Oliver, like, I like them sitting on the porch. Yep. I like her talking about how this must be what heaven's like. Like, all that. I Like, I like that whole, they're just great. Just watch, the two of them are just magical. They're, yeah, Ma- they're yeah just, the performances are all They're so yep. good. Um, yep. So, yeah, Dan? Um, what I love about this show is it never, I feel like other Hallmark movies sometimes get so busy trying to finish in 15 days that they miss some easy things you can do to make your movie stand out. Science of Delivered typically doesn't miss those moments, whatever it is, whether it be uh, you only see their hands holding during a kiss or something like that. In this movie, they're filming on a farm, and they catch a perfect sunset. And so not only does he say the line, I only dance with you, but then they get to kiss, and then when they're... uh, when they pull apart, the sun sets in between them, mm. and it's magical. Like it is one of these moments where you you can't tell me with all these other location shots that other filmmaking crews can't do this, but Science of Delivered typically does do it. And so that whole scene, the way they ended the movie, I thought really worked for me. And in all honesty, that scene probably raised my opinion of the movie as a whole because I left that scene went, man, that scene is kind of the best of what this show does. And so the rest of the movie just kind of fell in line. And it moved it up a tick or two for me. Yeah, sir. Um, let's take one more quick break, shall okay. we? Okay. And we'll be right back here on... Regular Homer. The, who are you? Oh, I'm Keith. No. Are you? No. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. So there's We don't know who are hopping on the <laughs> mic. Where are they? <laughs> who Who's, say that they where's are somebody... This, mic? this is a Tracy question. Yeah? Tracy, what it, we've got... Some guy we still know his name. We asked if it was Carl, and he said, "You got it, but it's not Carl." So you know Carmichael's? Yeah, yeah. Down yes. the street. Yes. So I installed, but ready or not, <laughs> I installed a microphone. It's live and it's hot down at Carmichael's. <laughs> and sometimes you hit on mute. Sometimes I hit on mute. They can hear our show live at Carmichael's. <laughs> right. They Bramble Jam Plus. They sign up. Carmichael's corporate, and um, so sometimes I let them in. Sometimes I let them out. But that still doesn't answer. Why is there a guy who says he's Keith <laughs> and just walks and then, away? But then when we were like Carl, but Keith, Keith, and, and then he no name we McClain, asked him. Know. We asked him, "Are right. you Keith?" And he said, "No." Uh, <laughs> well, I, so he said his name was Keith, and then he said his name was not Keith. I can't control him. What they do is up to them. This is America. It is America. You're it right, your and that's Carmichael. That's Carmichael's for yeah. you, no doubt about it. Is <laughs> I actually have never been. Is Carmichael's, what is it? I don't know. What? Trace, what is it? Oh, so you guys know Fitzy's? Yeah. yeah. It's a rival. A rival? Carmichael's. And they're getting time on this program. Yep. Wow. Can I be honest? Yeah. Um, don't you say it. Don't you say it, Trace. We've been together too long and had too many shared experiences for you to bad, bad, but don't put any poop on Fitzy's. You don't poop Fitzies. I'm not putting any poop on you, Fitzies. You better not. You better not put any poop on Fitzies. I just like Carl. No. I like no, the vibe. No. I don't have to worry about spikes on the bar. That is an elegant touch. I don't like spikes that. Spikes are an elegant touch. Butts out signs. It's the place you want to be. Carmichael's has lights. No. No. <laughs> overrated. It's nice. No. You're overrated. They have cocktails, real ones. We do. We have no, cocktails you know, at Fitzy's. We do. A tequila does not count as a cocktail. I've listed several other cocktails that I cannot think of at this moment. Right. That's the problem. <laughs> what if I just wanted old-fashioned? Oh, you can have one of those. What is it? Uh, <laughs> it's, What's it's an old-fashioned? It's a Miller High Life from 1971. <laughs> See? Carmichael, down the street. <laughs> so, I think for what I understand... Can confirm. <laughs> See, I admitted it. Fitzy saved a bunch of cases of old beer from 50 years he, ago. He calls it an old-fashioned. He fashion. calls it an old-fashioned. Oh That's my great. Gosh. Do they have furry day in October? <laughs> what? Does furry Carmichael's week? have furry day? Or f- furry week or furby week? Yeah. They do. They have both of those. Yeah. Wow, okay. Maybe we're wrong. Uh, maybe I'll try Carmichael. Listen, Fitzy's has good themes. <laughs> Their vibe is raw. Okay. That's the whole thing with Carmichael. Is Trace getting younger? <laughs> yes. <laughs> LA's good to me, baby. <laughs> You've gone... Uh, whatever. Uh, wait, what? Spanish? Yeah. Um, 
the the shop in Edgewood, the little the yeah. little general store. The little shop this in is, Edgewood. They have this is the only time I've actually ever seen this in a Hallmark movie. They take all the products that are on the shelves. They must be real product, but they turn them backwards. I've never seen that. Where they're all they're all literally backwards. Uh, so Good I've just never seen it, but yeah, it was must have been a real general store with a post office. It, 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 it must have yeah. been. Uh, it just threw me off. I've never seen that. Um, them trading off reading the letter is just inefficient. I just want to point that out. Uh, <laughs> it's what what did you say? Inefficient. What? No. Yeah. What is inefficient? I missed oh, that. them trading the letter yeah. to read. They always oh, read yeah. part and they hand I, it I off just, like popcorn. It, I <laughs> think they're trying to say popcorn that, Norman. They're like they're, they're like getting verklempt and they can't read anymore. <laughs> like. You take over from here. It's one of the dumbest moments in the show's history. I just, I, I don't, like, I get they're trying to break up that letter, but it just, it, it was, it just doesn't work. Um, I, I, the dude who runs the Edgewood General Store. Peter Benson. Er, yeah, he doesn't age a single day between no. 99 and the very end of this. He like, does not. I, he, I have wrote down. Like this you have worker, down. he is I have wrote down. This puzzle uh, worker is still going strong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he loves his job. He man. loves it. When you when you love your job, you don't work a day. That's right. No work a day. A bad yeah. day on the golf. Bad course. day is a yep. good day on good the course. Day um, he loves it. Just. And this is this is my last wait. What? And it's not even really a wait. What? I don't even know if it's a critique. I don't know what to do with this. I like the premise that Oliver has money. I've said that before. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. But what it's going to become now, I see, is just an easy way to write off anything that they have a problem with. Right. It is just, it is the trump card that solves every single problem. That's right. Um, and there's never, so the stakes here, like I saw it coming obviously a mile away. They need money. They I don't have, have money. money. I have the money. I'm going to go ahead and do this, which again, I love a happy ending. I, it's great. It was wonderful. Love all that. But at the same time, it lowers the stakes considerably. And um I don't know. That that's just where I'm yeah. at. I don't. That's not even really a a, a critique. I don't know what to do with that. There's, other than there's no place to put that. We don't have a what the hallmark because the yeah, very important I, puzzles over the week. Exactly. Yeah. Can um I only have a couple. Can you imagine being Peter Benson, postal worker? Um, and you do this whole thing with these three girls, and you get the box, and you say, uh, "Well, what's in it?" And they just reply back, "Hope." <laughs> Is it Rogue One? Nope. <laughs> like but what for real, what <laughs> is it? That makes me want to open it. Yes, yeah. immediately. <laughs> What's in it? Hope. For whom? <laughs> the world. <laughs> what is in this box? It's a big box of hope. You did say fragile, so now we know f hope is fragile, isn't it? Hope Everybody. is fragile. Amen. Yeah, amen. Uh, my last one is, I just didn't, like, so... Rita's parents are hippies, but they don't want her to marry yeah. someone that's weird. There is a real. I one, don't understand. Once again, that does, it doesn't make sense. The show does a great job with grand themes, but they take a lot of shortcuts when it comes to characters that are showing up for one movie. Yeah. Barry Boswick can't be a flower child and also a militant stickler at the same time. Nope. His name is Bill, short for Bilbo, not William. That's like, right. He's a hippie. Yes. He would be the guy from Rip and Time that would say, give me interesting and crazy. That's exactly right. Exactly. It didn't make sense that he saw Norman being weird and he's like, no. I don't get this guy. He's acting <laughs> for my daughter. Like, yeah, what are you doing, Bill? It was weird. It was You're weird. You're wearing, like, bright yellow. You you look high. Like, yeah. stop it. Yeah. I, just, I didn't get it. Yeah. I didn't get the decision. I didn't yeah. get it at all. Damn. You took two of mine. I got a couple more left. It takes for, two, baby. It takes two. Uh, for her, she's hanging this, Shane is hanging this empty frame, oval frame. Yep. And she, this is how they find the secret room. Which right? is ridiculous in and of itself. But, but I want to get this straight. The reason they find it is she tries to hammer a nail and she hits straight through the drywall. What is she doing in that scene? The frame is already up. The frame's up. I thought she was holding it up. No, because the nail is in but in the middle of the oval, and she hits in the middle of the oval. I don't know. That's a great question. Why is it? What what was going on that I missed there? And maybe I missed it. Maybe she is holding it. Yeah. But I could have sworn that the oval is up and the nail is in there, and she just hits the nail and goes through. Why is the nail going there? She specifically said nothing was going to go there. I don't. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Um. The lack of sympathy of the people that have the daughter on satellite feed for <laughs> for Oliver is astounding. To we me. lost her. Like, uh, 
Yeah, she's got a couple minutes. It's a bad feed. And he's about, he's like, well, you need to come home quickly. Your mom, uh, and then it cuts out, and they're like, we lost her. All right, we'll see you. Thanks. <laughs> Good talk. Thank you so much. Like, they do not care. Ice water in their veins. Who cares? Listen, Move man, along. But the that's the news for you. The satellite, yeah, that's the news for satellite you. Satellite waits for no man. Yeah, and then lastly, and this is what the hallmark. Earth keeps spinning. So he bids 400K, and then they walk away, and he says, you get to keep the farm and live in it as long as you want. I'm going to take over all the finances. And the intimation there is, is they don't, they're not getting $400,000. No. So this is not a great deal for them. They are making, the only thing they get is to stay on the farm. They get no money at all. Wait, why don't they get the $400,000? Because the sale's real, but it's his now. Who's he paying that money to? No, he, he bought if, it. Okay, but afterward, that conversation, uh -huh. go and watch that conversation when he basically says, I'm just going to take over ownership of it. There is a high level of intimation that that was just to win the auction. This would, I, I have the farm now, but I'm not purchasing it. I am just letting you keep it. We're going to make it a historical I, my whatever. Okay, no. so my understanding of what had so, happened here is that they are, they are almost in like foreclosure mode, right? Yeah. And so that 400000 they would never get anyway because oh, no, that's just the The mom says, we got to sell this so we can do something. Like she does, they're, they're going to get some money out of this. I understood it as I bought it, but you can stay here. And I'm and here's $400,000. Yeah. So here's $400,000 and you get to stay here. Yes. Right. Is, is, is what happened there. Yeah. You get to live here for the rest for your And you get $400,000 as well. Yeah. Okay, so that seems like a really interesting way to, to spend your money. But that does lead to my last one, which was if they weren't supposed to use the vase until things were dire, how did they make it for 18 years? She got back on her feet. and She, she got back on her got feet. Things going again. But still, things were dire. I mean, just her moving around was enough to keep them sustained for 18 years? The Have hope you, is frail. It's hard to kill. Prince of Egypt soundtrack. Prince of Egypt soundtrack. Great. All right, I got it. We're Have good. you ever met a mom? Uh, apparently. Am I right, guys? Yeah. All right. Amen. Shout out to moms everywhere. Amen. Um, let's do this. Postal Worker of the Week. I love it. Uh, uh, this we week, uh, we have Gary Gooney, and then afterwards it says the G is silent. Now, I don't know which G. Uh, what's his name? Gary Gooney. So it's either Airy Gooney. Airy Gooney. Or, or Gary Airy Ooney. Or, or Gary Ooney. Or Airy Ooney. Or Airy Ooney. Both G's are silent, you think. Airy Ooney. <laughs> it's possible. Ooney. You never know. Well, uh, Panda, do you know? Number uh, 387345. I, I don't know anything else, though. Gary Gooney, the G is silent. Yeah. Uh, it's... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, what is it, Pam? No, it's uh, <laughs> it's Airy Gooney. It's Airy Gooney. Okay, Airy Gooney. I thought you might know. Uh, and and let me say this about Airy. He is a great, great guy. Um, he has a weird, weird thing that he likes to do, uh, which is he is always, and I mean always, watching the Goonies, which is interesting <laughs> because his last name is Gooney, but he never stops watching it. It's which just is on in the truck. Well, he, what's interesting is truck. As he's driving along, as he's delivering the mail, because sometimes you have to hop yeah, out. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. He and so he actually will just watch it twenty four seven, and it's borderline. You unhealthy. didn't explain that. <laughs> you say truck. Sometimes you got to hop out. He'll watch it twenty four seven. How? Is he on his phone sometimes. Oh, uh, yeah. He has well, to have I'm, some sort of cons like. He's watching it on his phone. He's watching it on his phone. Yeah. So he picks his phone off the dash when he goes with him. Yeah. You got to scan those pat. Man, this seems dangerous. Well, it is dangerous. Uh, yeah. And one of the things about Ari. Uh, is that he? He's uh, he's missing a few fingers from just. Yeah. It, it's been some yeah. mishaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as yeah, yeah. you would. Uh, but it's interesting. Uh, his name a Ari is just a fascinating, fascinating individual. I don't care. Can I step in one thing? Please do. Ari. Is this Ari? No, no, no. Well, that's what I actually wanted to uh, correct. It's Ari <laughs> Goni. Ari oh. Goni. Ari Goni. Ari Goni. Yes. What's, I do the, love, what's the nationality there, R.A.? All of it. All of it. Very <laughs> but good. I do love the goodies. That part is accurate. I would never dispute that. And yes, it is dangerous. I have gotten in many accidents, but the goodies waits for no man. The goodies waits for no man. R.A. 
Ghani. <laughs> Are you, you saying you're Was that your sign-off line? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ghani. All right, Ghani. Uh, That's a good song. All right, all right, Ghani. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. I I'm love a, it. Uh, that, that laughter made me happy. Um, so, <laughs> are you going to keep going because yeah. that gave you affirmation? <laughs> There's just some guy at Carmichael. So the now. other day, uh, yeah, the other day I came across the bumper sticker, uh, and uh, the <laughs> the bumper sticker said. Who are you? Who, 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 who? But it said it. All of that was on a bumper sticker, <laughs> but R A. Yes, R A. Got it. <laughs> All right. Well, well, we did it. Uh, we'll be back next week. Until then, maybe the first wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. All right, got it. Check the hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast. It's presented by Philo TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. Set decor is by Plum at Haywood Mall. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on Bramble Jam podcast network, you can go to bramblejampodcast.com.